Well, here's a few parts that I have for my uh, 347 stroker that I'm going to build hopefully this spring. Um, I now have all of my so-called assault weapons and their so-called high capacity magazine sold now and it brought me a pretty good uh, chunk of change so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get an engine together sometime this spring or summer and with the goal of racing in 2014 the um, way my hours go at work it usually a month long project takes me a year so that's kind of what I'm estimating, but anyways, I've got, I've had most of this stuff for quite a while. I just need some other components. I've got a nice um, forge crank. Um, can't remember the alloy, I think it's 4340, but whatever it is, it's about the best that you could get for a, at least a Chinese manufactured affordable stroker crank. And one problem that I have with this crank that I had with the other crank is the Chinese machining is pretty much crap. They don't know how to set up their crankshaft grinders. And when you go from this journal to this journal, it literally goes on a taper. It starts out smaller here, and by the time you get to the end of this journal, it's bigger. Now. I'm not talking like several thousands, but it's probably close to a thousandth from one end to the other. So I end up having to buy standard and one thousandth extra clearance bearings so that I could use that and still have the correct rod clearance. For some reason the main journals aren't bad, it's just the rod bearings. So, I got that. Got my ATI super damper. <coughs> got my probe stroker pistons. And these ones a couple years ago, I was still able to machine things at work, which I'm not allowed to do anymore. Nobody's allowed to do, not just me personally. Um, I machined the domes shorter on here. The domes that come with this, with my AFR heads, they give me like 13 and a quarter to one, and that's a little bit too much for the camshaft that I have. It's, so I machined the domes down all in all these to where it's about 12.3 to one. So I got those. And all this stuff I've had for two or three years. I bought this all from a guy on eBay who was getting out of drag racing, getting into, I don't know, I can't remember what it was, tractor pulling or something. And I got a set of the RPM rods, which these are the rods that was featured in my uh, rod bolt torquing video from last summer. I'm building a short rod 347 this time 5 inch 315 rather than a 5.4 inch rod um, reason being the oil ring doesn't get into the pin bore so theoretically it's a little bit better on oil usage which quite honestly doesn't really matter to me but this is the kit that he had and I got a heck of a deal on it. So that's what I'm going to use. Also got that block with it too and the, um, I'm kind of tethered to this cord so I can't quite get over there but I got the uh, main girdle as well. You see that block's getting rusty. That just happened this winter. That's one problem with this garage. I have two vehicles that I store in here or that I drive every day, pull in here, and it gets moist in here, and then everything is cast iron rust. There was a block that I was using previously. This is a block that was um, in that motor. If you look at one of my first videos, I first started that engine up in 2007, and 
then I had a few uh, videos of actually racing it later on. That was a block I was using for that. So I haven't decided which one I'm going to use. This is a 68 block, so it's actually a little bit beefier. That one there's a, by the looks of the numbers, like an um, 87 truck block. So, which truck block in 87 wasn't as strong as this passenger car block was in um, 1968. So I'll probably use this block again. I'm standing here shivering and freezing. It's about 20 degrees in this garage. If you wonder why the camera's shaking. <laughs> I got some other parts over there. But so big thing I got to do now is I got to find somebody around here. It's been a long time since I've had to have rotating assembly balanced. I got to find somebody that is good. I know a couple people around here that do it, but I wouldn't trust them with a street vehicle, let alone something like this. Um, mostly guys that I dealt with in the past were all guys that were say like my dad's age and they're getting to be 70 years old now so they're not really doing this sort of thing so I gotta find somebody that hopefully is pretty good at this but I just thought I'd maybe show some of these parts and definitely hoping to if nothing else by the end of this summer actually have a functioning race car again and then 2014 maybe I'll have enough money raised through selling other parts or whatever else I can actually maybe run nearly a full season so that's my plan anyways subject to change as always